We begin in Vallejo, where a teenage boy was shot and killed. It happened near Main and Sacramento streets just before 6 o'clock last night, not far from the Vallejo ferry terminal. Our crime reporter Henry Lee is live in the newsroom after talking to city leaders about the shooting. And Henry, have they arrested any suspects so far? Yeah, Jana, not yet. This victim, just 15 years old, shot and killed at an apartment complex that has had more than its share of violence. A 15-year-old boy was shot and killed in Vallejo, the latest victim of violence in the city. It's disturbing. It's not only disturbing, it's disheartening to see uh, a youth, uh, a young boy like this, shot to death. Vallejo Police Chief Shawnee Williams says officers responded to reports of numerous shots fired at the Marina Vista apartments at Maine and Sacramento just before 6 Wednesday night. An unknown male approached him and uh, shot him to death. The teenager died at the scene. Two security guards of the complex heard the shots. As they gave pursuit of two individuals that appeared to be associated to um, the shooting, they were shot at and they returned fire. The guards were not hit. It's unclear if the possible shooters were hurt. So my heart really goes out to the family and friends of, of that person. Vallejo Mayor Robert McConnell says he's troubled by the violence. No matter what the circumstances are, the loss of the life, particularly somebody who's important to you, lasts forever and it's impactful. A woman who lives near the complex and did not want to go on camera told me she heard the rapid fire shots as she has many times in the past. But she told me being outdoors in broad daylight with nowhere to run was a new low for me. The mayor says anyone with information should come forward. So if you don't share it, you may be just as much of a problem as the person who is pulling the trigger. The apartment complex is no stranger to violence. Last month, a man was found shot to death in a car in front of the property. Another man was killed there in September. Now, this teenager is Vallejo's seventh homicide victim this year, and police say any tip, no matter how small, could lead to a big break in the case. Live in the newsroom, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Thanks so much, Henry. Certainly feel for that uh, teenager's family.